Welcome back to this lesson tutorial and so far we have seen date time as a class we have seen static methods on date time which is now local and UTC we have seen these three now next we go to from JS date from JS date as the name explains it converts a JS date to Luxon date so we'll be looking into an example it takes in two parameters one is the JSON date one is the options options can take in details like so we allows us to set zone and it allows us to set locale so options is completely optional right only date is required so let's get into the editor and try to try out this function this method on date time class so let's just first of all see what is a JS date right so this is how you initiate a JS date right and this by default will give the current date if I don't pass in any value so let's see what is the current date that it gives me so it gives me an output as such right so the current time is actually 21st 12 the date is proper the time that it's showing is 1253 which is actually incorrect uh, the system time is 623 and it's showing 1253 what it's doing is it's giving me the UTC date by default it's giving me the UTC date by default JavaScript does that okay it gives the UTC date by default so let's see how how can I convert this into a Luxon date so I can just call date time which is the class dot from JS date which is the static method and I pass in this new date okay I pass in this new date which creates JavaScript date in <clears throat> UTC format let's see what is the output that we get so here is the output that we get we get year to be 2021 12 11 18 24 30 so you can see this matches with my system time which is 1824 right and this is giving me a U uh, this is giving me IST format okay Indian standard time because my system time is in IST and that is where it's converting in spite of uh, the JS being JS date being in UTC it is converting it into the system zone you can see here in the object itself it defines that in the locale it has set EN India right and that's giving me the time in IST say I want to have it in UTC only I can do that like we saw in the second parameter I can pass in second parameter I can pass in zone right I can pass in the zone I can pass in the date then I can pass in an object in that I can mention this zone and this will allow me to set the zone to be UTC let's run and see here it is 2021 12 11 that's a day hours if we see now 12:55. current system time 1825 it's giving 12:55. that's the conversion of current system time into UTC okay you can see there's zero minutes here and you can also see fixed offset zone to be fixed at zero that is it's giving me the UTC time uh, for current time right I have to, since I have set zone to be UTC if I set zone to be America New York it will give me US time uh, while I'm, my system time is Indian time right so that's how I convert into UTC uh, other thing I can pass in is local local I can pass to be FR or any other country and it will set it accordingly locale it is going to be locale not local let's do that with an e and there it is set so locale is set to be fr right i can change that right i can set anything that i want so this is what is to be done here I, if you can see there is one example with a random date right i've set up a date of future 2023 a month to be february and date to be 14 14 feb of 2023 that's the date I'm passing in. Let's see what's the output we get. Exactly 2023 of Feb with date as 14. 
but if you can see hours, minutes, and seconds, it's set to zero, right? That is because I have not passed in the oh, passed in those values, right? If I had set in something like time, twenty-four, or oh, say eighteen and twenty-four, eighteen thirty, and minutes to be zero zero with milliseconds to be zero 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 okay if i save this uh, don't forget to add a z at the end if i save this if i run this you can see this is the object that is created the time object right it's giving me invalid input okay that's not a proper date Uh, so what is going wrong here is uh, adding a zero here right now that would work yeah that's working 2023 for the month two okay that's not a proper way of adding numbers maybe uh, let's Let's look at it. Ah, that's right. That's right. It is it is taking this value, which is it's considering to be UTC and converting it into uh, IST, right? It's converting it into IST. You can see EN, right? Which is a system time zone. If I change this to four o'clock, zero four. Let's see what does that give me. Four thirty. 4.30 would give me 10 o'clock, right? That's adding five and a half hours there. So that's how it works if I have uh, for random date. If I don't want current date, but some other date, I need to create a JS date out of it, pass it to from JS date, and it converts it into a Luxon date. Luxon date by default takes system date, system format, while JavaScript date they returns a UTC date. Remember that. All right. Hit like, subscribe. See you in the next video with more such static functions on date time object, date time class of Luxon.